and welcome everyone to Germany. I hope you like the new um, intro layout. Now, the forecast for Germany, let's start off with, is heavy rain. So, that may come at the beginning or or um, halfway through the race. We're not quite sure. I'm, I'm sure we'll find out in the highlights. But in other news, Code F1 opting not to start this race because he feels he has to revise for an exam more than he has to race and he will not be receiving any points after his tremendous wins so far this season. Which means, in reality, the fight for the lead is beginning to look like a battle between Memphis and x -Cobalt. Whereas x -Cobalt has been having a nightmare with his wheel just lately, and he's trying to get the problem fixed. Including another problem which hindered him in qualifying where his brake pedal got stuck, but he's confident that won't affect him in the race. Now, this is going to be a tremendous battle between the two, and there should be many more battles throughout the field. So sit back and enjoy, and I'll see you at the end of the race highlights. Okay, wet tires for next box. 
There it is then, after 30 laps of Nürburgring in dry and wet conditions, here's the race classification after 30 laps, 50 minutes it took to complete that race in mixed conditions, but it proved interesting for the drivers and I'm sure it proved interesting for you to watch, obviously you can check other views from Ryman, the Vanda 7 and Galactic Skull 2. Now the points table here you're seeing is quite close, um, it has to be said, and Spal for third is still very, very tight, and first and second isn't too far away from each other either. Code F1 sticks down there with 60 points, not being able to compete this weekend. And the bottom for the bottom, bottom half of the grid is still looking quite fine too. So it is looking tremendous. Coco Raki 13 there is also not shown up since Spain. Um, Here's the next race, obviously, Hungarian Grand Prix is where we're next at, and after that race we will be taking a three-week break, but in that three-week break, do not worry, we'll have a little mid-season montage along with a transfer podcast-style thing. And here's the man who manages to take the win this weekend, this week, I should say. Did a fantastic job, well done to Ferrari, and it's been a pleasure talking, and I'll see you in the next one.